Back to our breaking news story come out, coming out of Simferopol, where an unknown group of men have taken over the international airport there. Artis Yegor Piskunov is in the Crimean city, and he's here to talk with us, tell us more about what's happening there. Yegor, can you tell us, is it, is it obvious at this point who these men are, who they might be, and, and what they want at this point? Well, these men are armed. They don't have any signs or symbols with which they could be identified, but they are inside the airport right now, and apparently they have it under their control. But at the same time, they voiced no uh, conditions, no threats, and uh, apparently what we're hearing is that the airport is continuing to function absolutely normally. And this does resemble another incident which happened last night when a group of pro-Russian activists uh, walked inside the local parliament here and raised the Russian flag on top of it at the same time they did allow uh, the deputies inside which were able to work uh, normally throughout the day in fact they uh, released uh, the uh uh, now former Prime Minister of the Autonomous Republic uh, from his duties, dispersing uh, the government as well. They've appointed a new Prime Minister here, uh, known for his uh, pro-Russian views, and also set the date for a uh, referendum here in the Republic, uh, which is aimed to decide whether or not Crimea uh, will stay with Ukraine or uh, move away from Kiev. So it has been quite a busy day here. Uh, the new authorities in Kiev, uh, they said that... Uh, uh, Local authorities have no rights here to hold uh, any type of independent referendum under new laws which they have passed. But uh, while well, uh, tensions here are high and uh, while the events are developing quite fast. All right, Artis Yegor Piskunov there for us. Thank you very much.